Good morning and welcome to Trent United Methodist Church's Daily Prayer for Thursday, April 21st, 2022. What a special week we just finished, Holy Week, the triumphant entrance into Jerusalem by Jesus, the mood changing, Jesus' betrayal, and his death on the cross. I am so grateful that the story did not end there. Yes, the empty tomb on Sunday. He is risen. Hallelujah. Today I'd like to share with you some passages from Romans. First, Romans 12, verse 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Verses 5 and 6. So in Christ, we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given us. In verses 9 to 12, love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above ourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. All through the Bible, where people live first by their human free will, they almost always found themselves in trouble. The Bible tells us to be transformed when we become followers of Christ, and we will be able to test God's will and see that it is good, pleasing and perfect, and superior to our free will. Being able to understand God's will and following it leads to us showing love and respect for each other. We as brothers and sisters in Christ form one body, but we must not let that body atrophy. We must, let it, we must work the muscles. We must be out there working every day tirelessly to share God's good news. The deceiver has many advocates in the world working tirelessly to put God's good and perfect will for us away, to put all the good that he promises us away. He wants us to put Jesus and God's word away. We need to step up and share the hope we have in Jesus Christ every day. We need to work harder than those working for the deceiver. The greatest weapon we have is showing Christ's love in all that we do and sharing our witness of the hope we have in Christ every day. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the week just finished. We thank you for Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, and we're most grateful for his resurrection on Sunday, which sets us free not only from our sin, but promises eternal life with you. Lord, but help us as the days move forward not to forget the week, but to live that week every week to share the hope we have in Jesus Christ in everything we do. Help us to align our free will with your good and perfect and pleasing will, that we might be effective in helping the world become a better place, showing the love that you show us. We ask this in the sweet and precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, thank you, and have a great day, and I pray that everything you do today is a blessing to the Lord.